Lafayette police tonight are still trying to track down the person who drove through a car, a car through a crowd on Congress Street during festival. Now, although police initially initially told us there was no surveillance video, a photo was released today of this older model Chevrolet SUV. Three is on the street tonight. Danielle Garcia live from downtown Lafayette with more on the reversal from police. Danielle. Jim Marcel, dozens of cameras are placed downtown for Festival International. And now police say one of those cameras caught the SUV that drove down a crowded street on Sunday. And so when, we, when you were initially told there was no video, that was a mistake. And, and so we apologize for that. KATC obtained this video from a downtown business, which shows the SUV going down a crowded street. Now police releasing this image from downtown cameras set up by police. Chief Toby Aguilar confirming those cameras store 36 hours of video. Um, so at the time of the incident at 5 o'clock on Sunday around that time, were you guys actually watching the cameras? Yes, we were. And a detective, it was a detective who uh, viewed the cameras and noticed that there was a vehicle in the streets who notified the officers on the streets of what was going on. So it was being monitored, monitored in real time. Chief Aguilar says those cameras, which cost the city roughly $730,000, are an invaluable resource. Well, like for, for festival, for example, we deployed every spare camera we had for the downtown area and the festival grounds and everything around it and in an effort to uh, just be on top of everything going on. And so uh, over the past year, we've purchased four additional portable camera systems. Those are the trailers that people see with the blue flashing lights on them. And in, in addition to that, we have our command bus that has cameras. We have the pole cameras that already exist. Police are now trying to track down the person who drove this vehicle, which struck another vehicle while fleeing from police. I think that they were able to make contact, but I think at some point he realized they were the police and that's when he took off. We've got a lot of questions. Lafayette police have not identified the man publicly, but they do say they know who he is. And right now he is facing traffic violations, which he will be cited for. And police also say no pedestrian was hit as previously reported. Threes on the street, live in Lafayette, Danielle Garcia, KTC TV3.